gonna do? I don't know. So, we're going to a job interview. I have this black shirt that I've had for a very long time. These pencil skirts and these little shoes. Y'all have always seen these shoes. I've had them for a hot minute. This is the only thing I have that I could potentially wear to an interview. Instead of jeans, which is business casual, I think this skirt is better. I haven't worn skirts in so long. Hi, y'all. So excited. I'm cheesing so hard because I'm so damn excited. So I just got home from an interview. Today is um what month is this? We're in God. Today is June 23rd, and I just came home from a job interview at the hospital as a patient care technician, which is they call it a nurse tech. And I got the job. And I'm so so excited. I've been there, it's four o'clock right now, and I've been there since seven not seven what am i saying i've been there since 11 30 but you know halfway to the interview the lady was like you know we want to say yes we would love to go with you so you know when can you start when can you fill out the paperwork i just decided to stay there and fill out the paperwork there and then so i should be looking for something else an online like orientation that would normally be eight hours that we'd have to go in for but now because of covid they're doing everything online so i gotta look for that to parch I have a little for that in my email. She said I should get it by tomorrow so that I can do the um the the orientation starts in two weeks. I need to make sure that I get all my ducks in a row. I literally have one thing outstanding that she said to work on, which I had already started working on it ahead of time. I just need to call the police to see if they can mail it to me instead of me having to go there. I'll pay, I'll pay over the phone and everything so they can mail it to me. So I'm going to contact them right now to see how that works. But boy, when I tell you, it is hot as the devil's butthole outside because it's the summertime and I'm wearing this black. That's all I have. This was the only professional wear I had. I need to get more. And I now know why people who, you know, they have a little meat on their bones, do not wear a skirt or at least without like something underneath it, like biker shorts. And I normally do. I just forgot this morning because, oh my gosh, my legs are paying for it right now. Um, because I just walked home because I had to stop by the bank really quickly to get a direct deposit for me because I do have two here But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find them So I said you know what since I'm already gonna be outside might as well stop by the bank I need to buy some scrubs online so they can get here in time because the orientation is in two weeks And I need scrubs to wear so I'm gonna search on Amazon and see if I can find like a good brand She gave me the name of a brand that they do use so you can get the right color So I'm gonna search on Amazon to see if I can find Something to start with and I found this on the web and then um afterwards i'll buy like the cutesy ones or whatever but for right now i need to find something on amazon i'm gonna be working nights which i'm kind of excited for so when i start this time during the day i'm gonna be so <laughs> or whatever so i can wake up and like have you know energy to go or whatever the case is but i'm so so excited because this was the whole reason why i went to school and i went into pct because you know working in a nursing home is uh, you get so much experience. The experience that you get working in a nursing home is unmatched, I'll tell you that. It prepares you for anywhere else. If you've worked in a nursing home, you can work anywhere else. And so, um, you know, I went to school because I, one, I wanna excel in the nursing field. I don't know how far I wanna go just yet, but I do wanna excel in the nursing field and this is like a great way to get your foot in the door in a hospital, you know? And then obviously you work your up. I think I might end up doing surgical tech I'm not even sure <laughs> maybe a couple uh, a year from now you guys are gonna see me saying I'm gonna be an RN I don't really know but for the most part you know the goal is to excel in the nursing field and I was batshit nervous so when I, I wasn't nervous the whole time but when I almost got there the nerves started kicking in and I'm like well damn you know but my sister was like listen you got this don't be nervous you're gonna do just great the job is already yours claim it and I'm like and I really did claim it but also when I went in there and I was sitting down for a little bit because I had to wait on the lady for like 30 minutes when I was sitting down waiting because I was early I just stopped feeling nervous because I'm like these people are regular people like myself there's nothing to feel nervous about whatever she's gonna ask me I've been working in this field 
for two years I should be able to answer these questions you know and so um she asked me and I was able to answer comfortably which is great and you know before it was even over she's like you know confidence is a hell of a thing I'll tell you that I always get to, oh you should do public speaking or you know you should be a teacher you should be a lawyer or whatever I don't know what people see but when I start talking you will hear me you guys know if you've been here for a while that I can talk I have my moments where I'm very very quiet but I can talk and talk enough to be able to represent myself well and I feel like I really did that today because with my confidence they were able to see that I'm able to manage the job you know what I'm saying I'm not gonna be hard to I'm, I'm teachable which is good enough so um, that was great but I'm so so excited so I need to buy some scrubs call the police and uh, get certain things together because she said one don't be late for the orientation which I'm not gonna be late because one I am early to everything I was there 30 minutes early today I'm early to everything because I'm not a tardy person and I don't like tardiness um, call me OCD but um, I need this goddamn job and it's paying me more than the one I'm currently doing so I'm gonna show up ahead of time okay anyways I just wanted to pop in and share the good news because I did share that I was going to school and that I got my license and stuff so it's only right to share this part of the news too but I'm so so excited I don't know how much of it I'm gonna be able to share because this, this is the big league now <laughs> joking but um I don't know you know you guys can follow along to see whatever I do um, end up sharing but I'm so so excited anyways it's hot I'm gonna take these clothes off and relax a little bit because tomorrow I go back to work which I need to figure out if I'm gonna resign or if I'm gonna what I'm gonna do I don't know because I'm currently on the schedule at my current job for five days a week and I normally pick up an extra shift so I will work like six days but I will see if they can cut it down to part-time when I go to resign if they want to cut it down to part-time great because it is all night shifts the only problem is because I could work a couple of days a week but the only problem is that my shift ends at 7 a.m. if they need you to work an extra shift what am I gonna do call out for my current job you know what I mean like it's it's just seems like there's gonna be a lot of conflicts there so I mean, that's not the greatest idea I don't know and I would have to work alternating weekends at my current job which means that I get two days off I don't know I, I, I have until the end of the week to figure it out <laughs> today is Thursday so not too great here <laughs> but um by now on Monday, I literally have to hand my resignation letter in if that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Hi, y'all. I'm here at work. It's my break time. And this is... The week before my last week here and I'm just really chilling. Today wasn't too bad. I'm already, it's 10.30 right now and I'm already done with all of my residents. I just have one to go back to later on in the day to take out and then, um, you know, to make rounds with everybody before I do my paperwork. But this assignment has been really good to me this month because I've had it for an entire month and it really has just been good to me. Can't complain. Um, but come the first, and move on to another assignment which i don't feel like i'm ready for because i've already gotten the groove of this one and then you have to move on but i feel like it's pretty good because if you have one that you don't like then you're not stuck with it forever which kind of works out for for us the aides but um yeah it's my last week or last two weeks and i'm just here i'm about to eat some rough top and granola bar and drink some water because it is hot but i'm sitting in the linen closet the linen closet has diapers, globs, basically just everything you would need. This is my little station where I'm gonna sit. Sheets, towels, gowns over here, masks are outside, you know, just everything. Babes for when the people are eating, everything. 